Yo, what's up guys, Jason Mar the Magician, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you the infamous three card Monty. That's right, the scam that's managed to separate many a people from their hard earned cash. Well, well you're going to learn a version that you can do for your friends and family. The best part is it doesn't even use any gimmicks, it just uses three regular playing cards. Now I could sit here hyping this up all day, but let me show you what it looks like. Alright, so here it is. One, two, three. That's all it took to separate me from my hard earned mucho dinero. Three cards. I was walking down the street. Let me paint the picture for you, okay? It was a cold summer's day. Wait a second, this is falling apart immediately. Anyways, a man approaches me, says, brother, let's play a game for a little cash. What do you say? And I'm like, man, I can't. I can't be playing games for cash. I'll get robbed blind. The guy says, don't worry about it. It's gonna be all in the name of fun, but also for cash. So I says, yes. He says, the game is simple. Here I have three cards. One is a red diamond. Another one is a red diamond. And last but not least, the blue diamond. All I have to do, he says, is locate the blue diamond. But as he says it, I see him slip it to the bottom. So I says, easy, it's on the bottom. And he goes, no man, that is a red diamond. You owe me one dollar. I said, let me play again, but don't move the cards. He goes, sure. It's on the top this time, I says. He goes, no brother, that's going to be a red diamond as well. Would you like to try one last time? And I said, well, it has to be in the middle then. And he goes, no, you idiot. That is also a red diamond. You suck at this game and you owe me three bucks. I said, you don't even have a blue diamond. And he goes, that's gonna cost you a buck because the blue diamond's right there on the bottom. I'm out four bucks at this point. I'm like, brother, can we just change this up? Make it easy mode for me, man. He goes, fine. How about instead of trying to locate the blue diamond, you just try to locate a red diamond. And I said, that seems easy enough. The top one's a red diamond. And he goes, ah, geez, dude, I thought you'd get it. But no, that's a blue diamond. Or the middle one's a red diamond. No, you fool, that right there, another blue diamond. I'm like, you're using more than three cards. He goes, absolutely not. That's one, that's two, that is three cards. Currently, you owe me $7. So at this stage here, I'm thinking I'm out. I'm gonna pack up my head off. Can't be doing this stuff no more, man. My shoe's got a hole in it. Can't even afford to fix that, let alone pay this guy seven bucks. But that's when a miracle happens. He says, listen, I like you, double or nothing. I'll even show you, this is the red diamond, this is the blue diamond. If you can tell me what color this last card is, you get your money back. And I said, oh, this is great, because I know that two of them are red. It's a red diamond. And he goes, no chump. You owe me $14 cash, sucker! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you're wondering about the cards that I used, well, these are from a set called Color Monty and they just give you that nice printing so you get that sick kicker finish, you feel me? If you really want them, I'll put a link in the description below. But of course, you can use any three cards to achieve the exact same effect. So go grab some cards, make sure you smash like if you haven't already, subscribe, and of course, hit that notification bell. And without any further ado, let's learn how to do three card Monty. All right, so the beautiful thing about this routine is that there are only two slides that you have to learn and they're both pretty basic. First things first, you wanna be able to show this middle card as if it was the top card. And the way that you're gonna do that is you're going to execute a thing called a double lift. It's when I turn the cards over as if they were you know, just one, it looks like I'm just turning over the topmost card, but actually the topmost card is this one here, yeah? So that's the first one. Now the beautiful thing is this is going to be the easiest double lift you ever learn. I'm gonna break it down step by step and then we'll go into the second slide that you have to learn. All right, so to do this double lift, you wanna hold the three cards in this dealer's grip, okay? So that's three fingers along the one edge. You've got the pointer at the front and the thumb just, it's a very natural way to hold the cards, yeah? Now with your pinky, what you're gonna do is you're going to contact the bottom most card and just pull that down a little bit. Now this seems like it might be difficult, but it's actually just super intuitive. You'll be able to do this fairly easily. And that will give you a break between the bottom most card and the top two most cards. With your other hand, you're just gonna pinch these two cards and you're going to slide them down keeping in contact so that they don't split. You keep it in contact with that card. And then you turn them over like the pages of a book, displaying the middle card as if it was the top card. Now, when you turn it over, you'll notice I leave it. I leave those two cards like slightly out jogged above this bottom most card. And that actually makes it so much easier for me to turn it over because now I can just put my pointer here and it will just move that card out of the way. I pinch, I turn everything over again. And that's pretty much the entire thing. Like I really don't wanna like over explain it because that's really all there is to it. So, you know, practice that 
you'll have it in no time, guaranteed. Now the second slide is similar to the first, only you're gonna show the bottom card as if it was the top card. And it looks like this, okay? You're gonna take the cards like this, you turn over the topmost card, and that is the blue diamond from the bottom of the packet. You see, I've actually just got one card here and now two here. All right, so to do this, all you have to do is you're going to pull back on the pad of your finger, you're just gonna slide one card back. So now there are two here, still held together, okay? And I've slid this one here back. Now, once this one's been slid back, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my index finger contacting both, both these two cards, and my thumb just goes at the back to act like a stopper. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide them forward together, okay? So these slide together, and my thumb is going to stop it directly uh, when it needs to stop, so that now these two cards, these two sandwiching cards, will be in exact alignment, yeah? This is important. From here, I'm gonna pinch those two cards, okay? I just pinch them. It's good to turn your hand over for this. You're gonna pinch them, slide this card out, and just turn these two over as if they were one card. So again, it's slide back, slide both forward, pinch the two, pull them out and turn them over as if they were one singular card. Now, similar to the first double lift, when you do the move, you slide back, push out, pinch both, turn them both over like this. I'm gonna put them slightly out junked. That way it's super easy for me to then grab those and just turn them back over again. And those truly are the only two moves that you have to learn for the entire routine. So now let's teach you Thumb routine. All right, for educational purposes, assuming that you don't have these or you don't want to use just random cards from a deck, I'm going to show you a different version using these three cards right here. Let me perform it for you real quick. So a man walks up to me, he says he has this card, this card, and that card. And now at this point here, he says, all I have to do is try and locate that card. But as he says it, I see him move the card to the bottom. I said, that card, it's on the bottom. He goes, no man, that's this card. And I go, oh, well in that case, it must be on the top. He goes, no, that's also this card. And I go, what about the middle one then? He goes, no, that is also this card. Now at this stage here, I'm a little frustrated and I say, you don't even have that card. And he goes, no, no, that card is right there on the bottom. He goes, to make it even more confusing for you, I made sure that that card was on the top and that that card was also in the middle. So you can't go wrong, huh? <laughs> now at this stage here, I'm feeling a wee bit frustrated and he goes, don't worry, this is actually an important life lesson. In life, you get a little bit of this. You get a little bit of that, but you don't get much of the other. And that right there is an alternative routine that you can do with the Color Monty routine. All right, now if you don't have access to blank cards and you wanna make some, you can actually just take like an ace, it has the least amount of ink on it, and a pencil eraser, and you can actually just erase you can literally just erase the ink right off the card and make your own blank card. It's how I used to do it when I was young. Uh, so yeah, and then you can just make your own this, that, the other set. All right, so for this, I'm gonna move through the routine and I'm just going to explain which slides I'm using where. And if you follow along, you should have no problems doing this routine. So with the cards in order, I'm now going to start by doing a double. Okay, so it goes like this. I met a man who had this card, All right? So that's a double. Then I take the single, I use it to turn over that same card again, but now it looks like two of this card. So he says, I have this card, this card, and you'll notice it goes on top, that card, and then this one goes on top, okay? And he says, all you have to do is try and find that card. But as he says that, he moves a card to the bottom. Now what I'm doing here is actually I'm, I'm pretending to move a single card to the bottom, but actually I'm moving two cards to the bottom. I'm using the pads of my fingers to slide off the bottom most card. And then these two cards, all right, these two cards are being placed to the bottom like that. So from the beginning, it's I have this card, that's a double. This card, that's a single, goes on top. And that card, and that goes back on top. And he said, all I have to do is find that card. I move two cards to the bottom. And I said, that's easy. That card is on the bottom. Show them that this is this card. And the man says, you're wrong, that's this card. And I go, what about the top card? Now you're gonna do the move where you show the bottom card as if it was the top card. Pull back, slide both forward, pinch, turn them both over. No, that's also this card. Turn those two face down again. And then you do like a nice little spread here and you show that the middle card is also this card. Now place that back in the middle. And the next part of the story is, well, 
I don't think that you have that card anymore. And that's when you're going to turn everything over and show that card is on the bottom. You then do the exact same move again. That card is also on the top. Turn it over, spread them out, and that card is also in the middle. Place it back, close it all up, and then you're going to count through them. One, two, three, like that. That's reversing the order of the cards. And then he goes, this is actually a valuable life lesson for you because in life you get a little bit of this. You're just going to show the top card, a little bit of that, but not much of the other. And this right here is a kicker ending. It's a killer. It's powerful, baby. And the best part is, is that you can let your spectator examine those. So there you have it. This, that, and the other, or color Monty, or three, that's four cards, Monty. The point is, it's a great routine. You'll be doing it in no time. Just follow the steps of the routine. It's a beautiful thing. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for day 134. Call me Bucky Lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh.